For median nerve carpal tunnel syndrome particularly, um, we're going to show how it'll come off about the same area, C5 down to, to uh, T1. And it comes down through the biceps and instead of hooking around like the uh, ulnar nerve, it's gonna come right through here and down into what? Through the carpal tunnel, transverse carpal ligament and into the middle finger. It's gonna innervate the palmar surface of the thumb, index finger, and middle finger primarily. And so to stretch it, it's a simple stretch uh, that she can just side bend away, take it to barrier here and side bend away and come back so she can get it closer. Some people have to have it closer to the body because it's too much of a stretch. And then they can abduct, abduct and come back in a little bit like that to stretch it. This is to, to, to traction the nerve and that may not want to be traction. It may want to be flossed in the beginning. So to floss it, all she does, first of all, she just does this without doing any head motion. She just brings it to Barry. She goes, oh, I feel a little pain there. I feel a little bit of stuff running through the carpal tunnel there. She extends these fingers and she can then start to side bend away. When she side bends away, she can bring the hand out of extension. And when she comes back, she can extend it back to floss it through. She's pulling it through this direction and now she pulls it through like this. 